Erica with Craftinated and today I am going to kind of do a different type of tutorial. Um, I've never actually made what I'm going to make but I've watched some other videos of similar um, ideas or products. So what I have here, I got these from the Dollar Tree and they come in packs of three and um, they're little mini composition books and I think I'm going to use one of these to make it. Now I've seen like if you watch Lyric Lover, she does some with the big composition books. So I'm going to take some of those type of ideas and apply it with this. I did try one, but I didn't finish it. So we're not going to worry about that one. <laughs> so I'm going to do the blue one. And um, I'll show you some of the items I think I'll be using. So I'll get those out and we'll be right back. Okay, so some of the items I think I'll be using is of course the mini composition book. And then I have some uh, supplies that I'm that I'm gonna go through that I'm gonna use to um, cover it. But other than that, I think I'll need my, um, this is a hole punch. It's kind of large, maybe I'll look for a smaller one to use. But this, um, I was about using for the pocket. I'm gonna make a pocket on the inside and maybe even something on the front of the book. Might be too big. I might look and see if I have a smaller um, circle punch. A pair of scissors, a tag punch, this is from Stampin' Up. I have this one, which is the scalloped one. I also have the angled one, but I think the scalloped one will look cute for this. Um, an X-Acto knife. I can't find my straight weeding tool from Cricut that I usually use for my tape uh, adhesion removal. Um, so I'm going to use this curved one. My, my craft room is a little bit in disarray right now. I'm moving craft rooms downstairs um, to accommodate my scrap box that is supposed to be here. It was supposed to be here before Christmas, but it'll be here and I'm super pumped. Um, then I'm going to use my uh, Crapodile Corner Chomper, my paper cutter, and um, the Art Glitter Glue. I'm going to take a look real quick and come back, though. I think that I'm going to look and see if I have a smaller circle punch that I can use. I think that one might be too large for this pocket. So I'll be back in just a minute, and we'll get started. Okay, I'm back. So I might use this circle or this scalloped one. I haven't decided yet. I kind of liked the scalloped circle, and this is the only one I have that's scalloped in a circle. Um... So we'll see what happens. I'm just going to put these all to the side here and we'll decide as time goes on which one we're going to use. So first things first. Oh, I forgot. Another thing we're going to need would be a ruler. I will just use my ruler, my mat, but if you don't have a mat like this, then just use your an old, old fashioned ruler. So we're going to make the cut for it. Well, let me show you what we're going to use. One second. So I don't know which of these Baker's Twines I'm going to use. I literally brought out so many Baker's Twines. So I'm going to use some of these at some point for the, I'm going to put tags on the inside of the pockets. So I'm not sure which color I want to use yet, but we're going to be making this using the Snow and Cocoa collection. So we have to pick out our paper. I guess that should be first things first. What would be cute? I do want it to be kind of Christmassy as it is almost Christmas. Ooh, let's do this. So we'll do this one on this on the front and we'll do that on the back as well. And I'm thinking that one sheet will be enough for front and back. And then for the inside, let's see what should we use. Let's do this pink on the inside. And then for the pocket, of want to keep it oh, we'll use this we'll use this for the pocket it'll be the same as the front okay or is that boring let's do this for the pocket I think I just heard a crash downstairs my mom's here at the dogs just gonna pretend like that didn't happen Hopefully they're just all playing and having fun. Okay. And you know what though? We're gonna keep this here because I might make us, let me see, what can I do a circle? 
Okay, so first things first, let's measure our um, mini composition book. And it looks like it's one, two, and three quarters. I might get a real ruler. It might be easier with a real ruler. So we will make it two, and it looks like it's not quite two and three fourths. It's a little bit between that. It's like two and uh, five eighths or something like that. By four and a half. Okay, let's try this. So two. just line it up on here when I do it. So what do we say two and let's see. Yeah, it looks like it'll be good. Hopefully we didn't mess it up. Like I said, I messed it up. No, did I? It's a little bit short, so we can use this side. I'm gonna make a mark on the back. Like I said, I have not made these before. This is kind of like a, hey, seems like a good idea. Let's see if we can make one. Right. Let's see about that. So that'll be good. That'll be perfect. Okay. And then, you know, I am going to need that other sheet because I done messed it up. Good thing I already took it out. See, I did it on purpose. I'm just going to mark it on here. So hopefully everyone is ready for Christmas. Oh yeah, happy winter solstice. They won't forget about that. Today is, or Chris, winter solstice? I can't remember. But today is the shortest day of the year and it was dark at 5.30 around here. Let me see, that one might be a little bit too big. Yeah, just a smidge. So I'm just gonna take a tiny, tiny sliver off of that. seems a little bit long. I'm going to try to minimize how much I'm going to have to use the um, uh, exacto knife because I I'm just not good at that. I think I've told you guys in the past I just have a really hard time with straight lines and I, I like my stuff to look like it is, you know, done well, but I just, I don't have that. Some people are really good at just like cutting straight lines and drawing straight lines. I am not one of those people. And I did do some tests and I have my ch corner chomper, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that they're not, it's not going to line up with the corner chomper. So I'm going to have to do some freehand, um, cutting with my X-Acto knife. So that's the front. And this is just a prototype. If it's a little bit off, that's fine because I'm going to learn from my mistakes. So let's, once I get this cut, we'll see how big the two pieces are. So it looks like they are 
too, and it's a little bit over, um, like five eighths. So it's like in between like the three fourths and like the, the, the five eighths. So I guess that's a difficult cut to try to figure out what exactly you're going to need. But then long ways, it is four, it's like four and a half. So I think that probably marking the paper on the back is going to be your best way of getting a good, a good cut. And you're going to need to do four of these, one for the outsides and then two for the inside. And the inside though is going to be longer because I'm going next to the, where it's sewn in and leaving that there, but on the inside you will not. So we'll put these to the side because those are done. And what did I say I wanted to do for the pocket? I think the pink, right? Yeah, we'll do the pink. So we'll just mark it again. I don't want to have to waste paper. I'm trying to, so I'm gonna leave just like a, like a quarter, about a quarter inch on there so that it doesn't hinder the closing of the book. I'm just gonna make a mark, make a mark, and that's where we're gonna cut. I don't know why I'm using that glittery pen. Usually I use a pencil, but I just grabbed what was closest. And honestly, I might need to get another sheet of this as well. If this isn't, it's not in the center. So it's gonna be a little bit wider than my paper is. But that's okay. So then this will go, I think I need a new blade too in my cutter. This will go on the inside. Like so. And then um, we will make another one. I gotta find another piece because I don't think that that's gonna have enough on there. So like I said, I hope everybody's ready for Christmas. It's right around the corner. Um, I, I, I did all of my shopping this year on Amazon, um, which made it easy for me, but I still have to wrap everything. I don't know if there is another piece of that. And if not, I'll have to find my other pad. Nope, there's not. Maybe there's one in this one. I know I'm a paper hoarder. I'm aware that I have a problem. There it is. But it's good to have a problem when you're trying to get the right stuff done here. All right, so we'll mark it again. I should use a pencil. It's kind of hard to see this glittery thing in the light. I think I'm cutting them a little bit. Yeah, this one needs to be cut down a little bit more. Because I have the overhead lamp on, which I always do, but it just it's a little bit difficult with um, this glittery pen. I think it'll be okay though. All right, so we'll put those to the side. Let's see how big those were. So that one is three and a quarter by four and a half. Just a little bit bigger. And so then our pockets, we'll make them the same width. So it'll be three and a quarter. And we'll make them 
Mm, maybe like two and a half. We'll make them two and a half to start, and if I need to cut them down, I will. And this is a good use for me to use up my um, six by six paper, because I feel like I, I never use enough of it. Because I'm always making like bigger cards or I think that will make a perfect pocket. That's going to be cute. Two and a half. Two and a half. All right. So now that we got that part done, let's see about getting some of this stuff adhered down. Now, if I have to trim stuff off with the X-Acto knife, I will and hopefully do a good job. <laughs> All right, where's my tape? Tape, 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 tape. I put everything out that I needed and I started covering it with other stuff. Oh no, wait, that was supposed to be my circle. This was gonna be my, hmm, Erica. But you know what? It might be cute to make the circle the same as the pocket. We'll hold that to the side. We'll see what's gonna happen, it's fine. Like I said, it's it's not, this isn't really for anything. I just wanted to try it and I figured I would share it with you guys while I try it. So I'm going to do tape down the side here and then I will cut it. Now any adhesive will work. Um, I just, I really prefer the tape one. I think, I just feel like there's more control with it. Um, some people like to do like the AT, ATG guns. I think I have one. I do. I have an ATG gun. <laughs> um, I, I don't really know how to use it. I've tried, um, but it's like every time I go to use it, I just feel like I don't have that control over where it goes. I probably just need to work with it more, but I do feel like I get good control with the, the tape. Now you're gonna wanna make sure this is really covered with tape because you're not gonna want this to lift once it's on. And I just thought these were so cute. They were only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I love everything at the Dollar Tree. It's always a good value. And they're great for like crafts and stuff. Because you don't want to spend, you don't want to go buy, like obviously these would be, but you don't want to go buy a $10 notepad just to change it up and cover it up and add your own stuff onto it. And I, I feel like the stuff from the Dollar Tree is also... I mean, fairly well made for how much it's priced. It is only a dollar. Okay. So I'm going to line it up here. And along the side here. Did I do it? I did it. So there is a bit of an over overlap here. And then I'm going to have to try to get this. So, um... Hopefully I do a good job with this. I'm never good with the X-Acto knife. But I tried to use the um, corner chomper and it just didn't. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Good job, Erica. Um, that one just, it wasn't the right size. It wasn't the half or the quarter. I'm not sure what what it is maybe you have like a different um size corner rounder like maybe a medium between the two you might be able to get away with using that i somewhere have an inch one but i don't know that that would work either all right that looks okay all right now to try to do this actually i think it looks better if I, or works better if i go from around this way Sorry, you're probably just getting a picture of my head right now. <laughs> okay. So 
So I think that actually looks pretty good for the front. And then we'll do the um, back. It will do it the same way. So I'll put lots of um, adhesive down. Keep getting notifications. Hopefully it wasn't about to crash downstairs. <laughs> so last time I thought this that was when I did the um, the two boxes I got for Black Friday. I had the Peachy Cheap and the Echo Park box. I thought that was going to be my last video from this room. Um, it will not be, obviously, because I'm doing this one. So hopefully the next one I do will be in the new craft room. I don't know if it'll be craft related. It might just be like a, hey, look at my craft room video. Um, because it's going to be a huge, a huge makeover. Um, I have a video on here of what my craft room is now. And I don't know if it's, if it shows what it was before, but when I first moved in here, um, I bought, I bought this house in 2014 and the craft room just started off as a couple of desks with some closet storage. And then it evolved into, I got a, her hobby box, which is also from the original scrap box, which kind of spruced it up a bit. And then I got this desk, which is the easy view desk, also from the original scrap box. Um, then I added a bunch of storage in the closet with Ikea storage with the, like the Alex desk or Alex drawers, whatever they are. And everybody uses those for, those for crafting, but I just don't understand because I think that they would be a lot more functional for crafters if they were 24 inches wide. They're like 22 and a half and I can't fit two sets of 12 by 12 sheets next to it. So it was kind of a bummer for me. I thought that was going to be something that <laughs> I could do. Um, but now I'm going to be getting the... Um, the... Uh, What's it called? It's by the original scrap box. The, uh, oh my goodness. Why can't my brain work today? We're going to line it up. I'm thinking. I'm still thinking. The dream box. Of course it's called the dream box. Um, so I need to, I, I'm getting that. I'm really excited. And we're going to do the same thing here. Hopefully I do a good job again. And there was a little bit of the cardboard there. Whoopsie. See, not so good. But guess what? It's the back of the book. So that's better. <laughs> that would be Luigi downstairs barking. I don't know if you can hear him. Hopefully he's having fun right now with his grandma. All right. So that's the front. That's the back. I feel like it's looking really cute so far. And then we'll um, add this in the same way. But I am not going to put the tape. Hmm, how am I going to do this? Because I don't want to put the tape on the book. Well, I guess I can just trim it down with the X-Acto knife like I've been doing. We'll just do that. Because, again, you're going to want it taped down pretty good because you don't want it. If it's, if it's going to be used as a notebook, people are going to be pulling it out, writing in it, opening it, closing it. I'm going to make pockets on the inside of here. Um, you don't want it to be where it's like hard to, um, or it's easy for it to um, start to peel or come undone. You could also use the glitter glue if you wanted to for this. this it would be perfect for this project. I'm just always, <laughs> I'm afraid to use it sometimes because it is um liquid and while this one I, I do really like the glitter glue and it's great for like making pockets and folds and stuff um I do get scared sometimes using it like on a whole thing because sometimes when things are when it's liquid glue you know your paper will bubble or whatever and it just won't look good and I always over I feel like I'm like one of those people who use 
I over adhesive things. I also over foam, foam squares. If you ever see me do anything with foam squares, which I'll probably do a video at some point where I do, I swear I use so many of the foam squares. I'm just, I want it, I want it to be popped up. I want it to stay, stay where it's at. <laughs> so I, I do use a lot of adhesive, but I think it's the, the trade-off for using a lot of adhesive is having really sturdy and um, longer lasting products. So let's see. And I'm not making this for an art or for a craft fair. I'm not, um, I have one, I don't have one for, set up for a couple of months from now. I might sign up for some more between now and then, but I kind of gave myself some time so I could get my um, craft room moved and get situated and get going down there. So I will be doing more craft fairs. They just might not be for a little bit. All right, that looks not straight. Not straight. I didn't push it down yet. Come back up. I didn't even push it down yet. Thank you. Jeez almighty. I want it to be as straight as it can be. You know. All right. So there is some overhang. And, you know, maybe I'll do another one of these kind of, kind of videos, but I'm going to do it like sped up because I'm going to be doing a um, mini album here in the next couple of weeks um, for uh, the baby shower that I'm invited to. So maybe I will um, do like another, I guess it's more of a craft with me kind of thing because I'm not... There's no tutorial today. It's just kind of what I'm doing. Hmm. So it's not turning out as good as I wanted it to. It looks all right. Oops. Well, there goes the lid for that. That's scary. I'll get that in a minute. So um, my corner up here is not as clean as I'd like it to be, but there's really not much I can do about it at this point. So then we'll put the back one on. We'll do the same thing again. I wish the corner chomper would... Um, accommodate this corner but it does not that's okay yeah this year like typically we have a Christmas tree and because my craft room is going down into the living room and we're like redoing everything we don't even have a Christmas tree this year which is kind of sad my mom bought me this like four foot Charlie Brown tree from the grocery store. <laughs> so that's all right though. Which we're trying to be in the Christmas spirit still. Sorry, just checking my notifications. I'm getting all these text messages. People need to leave me alone. So once we get this in, then we'll put the pocket in. We're going to do one on either side. And I was going to do the black one, but I cut out the pink. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I don't know. The best thing is what somebody, somebody told me this once. And I think it was when I was um, getting everything ready for my wedding. And I did all of the stuff for my wedding by hand. I made um, everything, the invitations, all the signage, uh, the card box, the fans, their program fans, um, the escort cards, menus, 
the favors we did lottery tickets and I made like the little lot I made these little tiny um envelopes for the lottery card to go into and then on the back I use it like a wax seal and I put a penny on there like I made everything and a lot of stuff was going on at that time like right before our wedding my mom had uh received a heart transplant so it was like a crazy crazy <laughs> crazy time you know I'm trying to get everything together and you know some things are coming together some things aren't just because you know it was a lot going on at that time and somebody told me you know it doesn't matter what it looks like because nobody's gonna real nobody's gonna know you didn't plan it that way and that's kind of how I feel about doing crafts too just in general like I thought that was really good advice just for life because anytime you're trying to like do something handmade or anything like that I think it's good to keep in mind that as long as the finished product is kind of like obviously not a hot mess but it looks pretty decent you you know nobody knows what you intended that final product to look like but you nobody knows the vision you had but yourself and I think that 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 was just really good advice especially with how much I was going through and I personally think the wedding was still beautiful and everything came out perfect and it was you know the best day of my life and all that good stuff um <laughs> but it just goes to show you that you can you can put all the, the planning and all the work into anything and then you know, life will throw you a curveball and make it crazy. So that's what happened to me. <laughs> so actually with this one, what I'm going to do, it's kind of over. I'm going to trim it and I'm going to, maybe I'll just hold it in place. I'm going to trim it and cut it before I put it in because I want to use the glitter glue to make a strong pocket. And I don't want it to... Um, not go where it's supposed to go. I hope it all done. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks fine. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a, a strip of glue around the edges with the glitter glue, leaving the top open. I'm gonna do a really light strip. Here, let me get some glue going here. It's been a couple of days since I've used it. If anybody uses this, they know it gets, it's like so sticky. I don't know what I do with my little, they give you, they actually give you like a, a pin with it to un unglue it and I don't know where mine went it's over here somewhere stand by there we go all right so I'm just gonna do a nice thin line All right. Let me just really get it in there. And then, oops, might have to put some more glue there. I don't want it to pop open like that. Yeah, I'm gonna put some more glue. I don't want it to be like that. All right, there. So now we have a nice little pocket there. And I have these. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a tag. But I also have these that went with. Um, the Snow and Cocoa collection. So I might grab a couple of these and just put a few in there. Let's see. Oh yeah, this one will look cute in there. We'll 
use that one in the back. Uh, that's too tall. And then I'm going to make one with my tag punch. And then we'll use all of that cute baker's twine and um, put it on, on them. So there's that. So that's, that's the front and the inside. And then we'll do the pocket on this one. So let me put these tags back where they came from over here. We'll go like that. And I'm going to do the same thing. Let's make sure that I won't go in the same way. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. What did I do? Erica, I swear. I don't rightly know what I did. <laughs> like I said, nobody knows what you were trying to create. It's fine. I, I think that I may have, this is maybe the top of what I cut off. And it might have been, one might be a bit longer than the other. I don't know. Let me see, are they over here? Oh, Erica. No. Maybe I just measured wrong. That's probably true. Well, this one will just be a little bit smaller in the back. I will leave the cute pocket. It's going to be just fine. I'm not even concerned about that. So, like I said, nobody knows. Well, you guys all know that I didn't plan it that way. But in general, nobody would know that you didn't plan it that way. And I loved making everything for my wedding. I think that that was like the part of my wedding, like the like planning process that I enjoyed the most because I was able to customize everything exactly how I wanted it. I probably made, I don't know how many different types of invitations before I settled on one. One day I'll show you, I'll, I'll flip, through, I'll find one and I'll show you guys what it looked like. It was really cute. And I, I just loved making the fans. I loved, I loved all of that. That was my favorite part. And then like for like the, um, the bridal party, you know, I made, I made some gifts for the guys and the girls and it's just, I think it's a lot, it's really special when you're able to. I know not everybody can, but, and it saved so much money. All right, so let's see. I hear my mom yelling at the dogs downstairs. They must be being bad. Oh, that one poop. I like that one. We'll do the burr one. And then let's do something that has a, a we'll do a snowman. I think they're so, so cute because they're use, useful too. They're, they're actually to and from, but I'm kind of putting them in there. It's like, you can use these as like a, like a bookmark in the book itself. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to take a look and see if I have any stickers. One second. I think I have some snow and cocoa stickers. Let's see if I do or don't. Sorry, I'll be back. Well, if not, I'll use the Merry Days. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more. I have more tags in there, but not more stickers. I have 3D stickers, but I want to do something down here. So let's use, these are from Merry Days. And we will do, these ones are cute. And I think that the, they kind of go with what we're doing here. Put it up here. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the um, glitter glue underneath just so it's a little bit more permanent. And then let's do... I think we'll do this holiday wishes. Okay. 
So those are the stickers. These are from Mary Day, the Mary Days collection. I do like to use a lot of the same type of collection, but I will definitely mix and match if needed. All right, so we are almost done with the inside and then we're gonna do the cover. I'm just gonna make a couple more tags and we're gonna put some of the Baker's twine on them. Oh, let's make some tags with this, this one that got away from us. <laughs> away from me, I should say, I'm sorry. Like my cousin says, because I always have a problem, she says, being creative can be messy. So for these, it needs to be two inches. And I think I'm going to do, well, let's do two by three so I can make two. And we can do one in each, on each side. This one might be a little bit smaller. I don't like the ridges, so I want to get rid of those. And I love this punch. Oop, I guess I should open it, shouldn't I? That'd be great. Because it makes these perfect little tag punches every time. And it can be the fat one in the back. There we go. Right, so there is that. I think it's coming together quite nicely, if I do say so myself. And let's see. So for the colors for the tags, let's do a hot pink. Where's the start? See, this is like the stuff that I can never figure out is where the start of this stuff is. I'm so bad at this. You would think I've been doing, <laughs> I've been doing crafts for so long and you would think I could figure these kind of things out. But here I am not knowing what I'm doing. Well, that didn't cut very well. Let's cut it again. Better. All right, so how I'm going to do it is I'm not going to completely like loop it, loop it, but I'm gonna put it through, loop it in, and let's cut it at like, well, actually no, I will tie it off. So that way that they wanna use it as a um, bookmark or as a tag, they can. And there's tag number one. And you can just kind of put them in here. They don't, they don't have to be like flying out of the book. <laughs> but if you like tuck it behind it, you could do it like that. Just for presentation purposes. And then this one, let's do the black one. Oh, I was gonna, mm, I'm so bad at this right now. I'm sorry, guys. What I was gonna do is I was going to use the scallop and make like a, a opening in that, but it's a little bit late. I put a sticker down instead, but that's something you could do if you decided to, if you remember what your brain was telling you when you started a idea and a project. My brain doesn't work that way, apparently. And then there's that one. And then I'm going to use the light pink. I might use this one. I'm going to use this one for the black one. And this could be like, you could use it as like a, like a junk journal. You could use it as like a um, Christmas journal where you would like write down like what you're going to buy everybody and you know, like your Christmas list. And then you when you're going to wrap your presents, you can pull out your tags and like have everything organized. You could use it as like a Christmas journal, just journaling about the different things that, you know, you and your family did, whether you like went to go like look at lights or when you put up the Christmas tree or whatever, whatever may have been on your list this year of things to do. 
So there's that. And that's the inside, the front. And I think that looks really cute. And like, even though these have like to and from on the back, you could like, you know, if say you were doing like a journal and you could write like, oh, uh, you could even use it for like your gift journal. You put it in here, you write down what you got um, to yourself from mom and dad. And then, you know, like if you're doing like thank yous or, you know, just trying to remember who got you what, then you know who your list was. So there's the front. Let's do the back here. This guy here, I'm going to do a black one on the snowman. So I don't know exactly what you would even call these, but I thought it would be cute. I was, I saw them at the Dollar Tree and I thought I want to make something with these cute little mini um, composition books. And down the road, maybe I'll do something that's not Christmas with some of them because I got a few, especially since I'm not doing craft fairs right now. Oh, look how cute he is. I'll pull him out a bit. I'm just kind of like toying around with different ideas and different things that I could do. No, I swear, I just use this. There, <laughs> isn't it? Is that it? Maybe that's the side that I'm supposed to pull it from. Who the heck knows? You would think, like I said, you would think by now I would have a better understanding of how these things work. But here I am, not knowing. <laughs> Don't mind me. So we'll use the hot pink in this one. Or actually, what did we use for the... Let's do the hot pink in this guy because we used the regular pink in the other one. I want to switch it up. You know what I might do? I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to pull the other one out and do it too. I'm going to round the corners on this. I think they'll look better if the corners are rounded. Oh yeah, super cute. Everything looks better with rounded corners, don't you think? Let me do the other one real quick before I forget. Just leave them. We'll just leave them go crazy. Why not? And then as soon as we're done with this, I'm going to move on to the front and we are going to decorate the front and then we will be done. I put on a lot of uh, Baker's twine just to use the same three colors now, didn't I? <laughs> But I kind of like the, the the snow and cocoa. I really like this collection because it's Christmassy without those traditional Christmas colors, which I, I like the traditional Christmas colors, but sometimes it's fun to just to have it be different and just to have it, you know, be pink and teal and black and whatever other colors they decided to use. Sometimes that's just fun. All right, so that's all done. We'll just have our things flipping out of there. Why not? And then I'm going to decorate the front, but I'm going to actually take out the tag so that it's flat while I'm doing it. So I have also this chipboard. And that's why I wanted to use this. I don't know if it'll fit in here now. Oh, it might. Oh, it might. It did. Look at that. Just barely. Because I wanted to put this on the front. And then just kind of layer on a couple of these um, chipboard pieces. Let's see. We 
which one should we use? Maybe, no, I don't like that one on there. Let's see, there's so many choices. Oh, that might be cute. That's too big. What about the smaller one? I'm just kind of seeing what might look good first and then I'll make a decision. Oh boy, they're going crazy down there. these poofy stickers. Let's see. I do kind of like the idea of using the frame. Should we put the polar bear there? Oh yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this down. I'm gonna use the glitter glue for this part. And I just go around and down inside of it again. Maybe I over adhesive, adhes use over, use, oh, I don't even know. God, this is not like I'm having a stroke right now. Sorry guys. And we're gonna go around this because the the only problem with these chip this this chipboard is it does not I don't think it sticks that well, and I'm not trying to have big pieces of chipboard fall off my project. All right, let's see. That just got right on my mat. Oh, well. Things like that do tend to happen. Keep warm and snuggle up. And I'm not sure. I haven't used these puppy stickers. They seem pretty sticky, but I'm just going to put a little bit of glitter glue on it. Yeah, he's really cute. And then let's do just a couple of these. Let's do another blue one. Bluish, it's white and blue. this tiny one. Right, let me move some stuff out of the way here so we can take a peek at this final product. I'm a mess, I know. I'll clean up my spot in a minute. Once we're done here. All right, so this is the front. I mean, that's really cute. It's got the little polar bear on there. Keep warm and snuggle up. You open up your front page and it's gonna have three tags in it. 
Um, Merry Christmas. This one says Burr, and this is the one that we made from the paper. And I'm going to do it like this. We'll put those down in the pocket that we made that we did not scallop because I forgot. <laughs> and then you. Hey everyone, it's Erica. So, um, my phone died <laughs> while I was opening up and showing the inside, but, uh, so I showed you the front and I showed you the inside here and then, um, here's the back. It just has our other three tags in there. The one we made, the snowman and the burr and it says holiday wishes. So that's all done. I'm glad my phone made it through most of the video <laughs> all the way up to the very end. So, um, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, let me know if you think you'd try it. I think it's a cute idea, especially since these are just a dollar from the Dollar Tree. I'll definitely have to make some more of these type of things. I mean, can you look at that? That's so different. It doesn't even look like the same item. So, all right. So, um, Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays, whatever, whatever you do. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. All right, thank you. Bye.